chapter 9. Regrets! And finally, folks, Alan Dead Brothers Cookie and Pink have created a new comic by photographing cookies and candy. We are frosting and going to stick it all together. Sweet! Mallow Gap. Written and directed by L. Cookie and Pink. One time, a marshmallow wanted to be a cop, so I paid a visit to Chief Candy Dispenser. What makes you think you can be a cop? I've got these sunglasses. Hey, that's offensive! There's more to being a cop than just only a pair of sunglasses. I also own a mustache. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? You're hired! Soon, Mal Cop had a swell hat and a tiny pair of handcuffs. Sweet. Smile Cop, I'd like for you to meet your new partner, Chuck Lipbar. Subbo Cop, yo. Now let's get you guys a cop car. Unfortunately, the only car we have now is this old clunker. We call her Grandma. Grandma Crackers. She's mostly Graham Crackers. Hmm, chocolate, marshmallow, and Graham Crackers? Something tells me that we will go very nicely together. We won't let you down, Chief. And so, hey, Malcolm, what's up, Chuck? I've got a funny feeling that this is all a big setup for a real dumb joke about s'mores. What makes you think that, Chuck? Find out in the next week adventure of Malow Gap. Story plus art by L. Art plus photographs by Corky. Art plus digital wizardry by Pink. Copyright C by L. Pika Productions, Inc. All rights reserved. Do you like it, Daddy? Yes, it was very clever. But I don't want kids to the food. We didn't. We uh, we uh, we ate almost everything when we were done. We ate all the sweets. Yeah, I ate grandma crackers all by myself. I ate the chief's desk, and I ate everybody else. Then we ate the fun, the floors, and the can can smoke. Is that why you three had tummy aches last night? Um, I believe that was unrelated. I do not want you kids eating too many mini sweets. Why not? Because you always get sick. Yeah, it's fun at first, but later. Oh man. Later. Oh man. I wish we hadn't eaten all of that candy. We had to. Otherwise, we would have had to share with everybody. Those yahoos can buy their own candy. Yeah, they've got money and we're broke. Seriously, they should be sharing with us. Wait a minute. What's it? You're like everybody's agent, right? Yeah. That means everybody owes you 10% of the cash! Yeah, yeah! Those kids owe me money! Let's go! And so... Hey, freeloaders! You owe Melvin five bucks each! Why? Because he's your agent, and angels gotta get paid! We don't have any money. What? Why not? We give it all away. To who? Did I tell the over by um, I forgot where it is. They give food and stuff to people and animals who need it. You gave all of your money to help others? Yeah. We all did. All did, all did, all did. Are we bad people? Well, I... Poppy! Danny said we're not allowed to spit water at each other anymore! He said in the house, and he almost got his phone all wet. Sorry. It was just a joke. Are you guys crying? No! It sure looks like you were. No, we weren't! What's wrong? Plop. You wouldn't understand, Poppy. You're so sweet and innocent and stuff. But we've done bad things. Oh. Gonna figure out my purpose. Your purpose? I've been trying to figure it out for the last two books, but it's just too hard. Haley, mine was easy. My purpose is to make the world a better place every day. How do you do that? Well, I just try every day to be nice to everybody, to help with stuff, to make comics and art, to protect animals and bugs, and um. And to be thankful. Those are just little things, Poppy. How do they make the whole world a better place? Well, Daddy says it's like a pebble. It seems small, right? Yeah. 
But watch this. Blip! See those circle waves? Look how they get bigger and bigger. All of those circle waves bounce off of stuff and move things. Sometimes in ways we can't even see. They touch so many other things. And in a teeny tiny way, because of that teensy weensy little pebble, this whole pond will never be quite the same again. Wow. That's a pretty good purpose, Poppy. Thanks. You can borrow it if you want to. At least until you figure out your own. Chapter 10. Naomi and Melvin learned their lesson. Sort of. Soon. So let me get this straight. After you fix my phone, you spend the rest of your money on chocolate-covered gummy worms? Yeah, it was her idea. And now you both have tummy aches? Yeah, yeah. Would you like some peppermint tea? Okay! And so... Will you just take a few lumps of sugar? You'll take no sugar! Aw, man! Can we have some ice, though? Yeah, it's too hot. Okay, I'll be right back. Sugar! Sweet! Lick, lick, lick. Blip! Lick, lick, lick. Hey, look! Circle waves! Here's your ice. Plip plop. Sp, sp. Daddy. I'm sorry we were such a pain today. Will you try to do better tomorrow? Yes, yes. Okay then. As long as you both remember that I love you very much, even when you are pain. I love you too, Daddy. I love you more. No, you don't, Bug Breast. I do too. I love him a thousand times more. Why, well, I love him 50 times no more. All right. You did not do too. Well, I love him infinity times infinity plus 67,000 infinites. Enough. Well, I love him infinity cube times a quick quick and the quick drink until he Google blocks is 571. If you two don't straighten up and fly right. Well, folks, another day of gripping drama has ended. Will the creativity continue? Will the drama increase decrease? And will Naomi and Melvin ever strain up and fly right? Find out on next dramatic saga! Cat Kid Comic Club. Book 5 is coming soon. Notes and fun facts. The theme of this book, Small Things Can Have Great Effects, was inspired by the following clone. Behold also the ships, which shall they be so great, that are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm. James 3, 4, KJV. Poppy's Purpose, page one, pages 106-206-211, is based on a scientific ideology and branch of mathematics known as chaos theory. This concept proposes that things that appear random and insignificant actually display underlying patterns and interconnectedness, which can have a profound effect on other seemingly independent things. Quinn Quadrinta Quadrinquantiliard, page 222, is a real number equal to 102703, or 1 with 2,703 zeros after it. It would take about two pages to write the entire number. Googleplex is also a real number equal to 101000, or 1 with so many zeros after it, it would be impossible to write. If you could, the number of pages you would need fill, would fill up enough books to overflow the entire universe, observable universe. The number Google Plus was, was coined in 1920 by a nine-year-old named Milton Sirota, who described, as, described the number as one, followed by writing zeros until you get tired. Milton's uncle, mathematician Edward Kastner, adapted this number to the standardized 10 10 100. The video game cabinet is an easy spider were made, hacked from toys that actually work. Each game still works and can be played, although the games are different than what is shown. The all the smoke and easy spider was made out of polyester stuffing from an old pillow, glued to recycled paper. The campfire in Malakop was made from strips of dried mango, toothpick, to wheat glue, and logs. The smoke was kind of candy. Wee wee dee wee does mean yes yes oh yeah yeah in French. 
It's spelled wee wee, but it's pronounced wee wee. We're better when we work together! Sometimes the smallest things can often make the biggest difference. Keep reading with Dave Bilkey from the creator of Dogman. Cat Kid Comic Club, written and illustrated by Dave Pilkey. A graphic novel from the creative dog man. Cat Kid Comic Club. Perspectives, written and illustrated by Dave Pilkey. A graphic novel from the creative dog man. Cat Kid Comic Club. On Purpose, written and illustrated by Dave Pilkey. The international bestseller. Dog Man. Dave Pilkey, creator of Captain Underpants. The Adventures of Captain Underpants. Full color! <gasps> the first epic novel by Dave Pilkey, Caldecott Honor Artist. Explore PlanetPilkey.com. A digital adventure! Graphics and imprint of Scholastic. Scholastic.com slash graphics. Cover on copyright 2022 by Dave Pilkey. Cover designed by Dave Pilkey and Phil Falco. 12.99 US. 6.99 can. 10.99 UK. ISBN 978-1-338-84-662-1. 51-299-978-338-84-6621.